Friday. It is currently 3.45 in the morning. I was up at 3, got to the gym at 3.30 and I've just been walking on the treadmill warming up for about 15 minutes or so. I'll continue to walk for another 15 before I get into my session. Why do you ask that I'm up at this godly hour? Because I am going to Sydney today and I'm going to Sydney for the entire weekend for my cousin's wedding. Sorry if you can't hear me that well. Obviously the gym music is really loud. But I have a really early flight this morning and I'm not using an early flight as an excuse for me not to get in my session. So you better believe I am up at 3am to get to the gym at 3.30 to complete my steps and complete my session before I head down to Sydney for the weekend because I know the weekend's going to be jam packed and it's not going to have time to get in my session and I'm not using that as an excuse, especially because I'm on comp prep, I don't have time to waste, and I don't have time to make excuses. So this is my reminder to you girls, that if your goals are as important as you say they are, you will find a way to get done what you need to get done, period. And if they're not, you will make excuses. It is as simple as that, it is as black and white as that. But I'm just introing the vlog, saying hello, Happy Friday right now. Hello to wherever you are around the world. I hope you're having an incredible day. I'm taking you guys along with me over the weekend to Sydney and I want to show you guys how you can still stay on top of your goals, how you can still hit your macros whilst being away, whilst being interstate. And I just want to show you guys that like, there is no excuse. You can make it work. You may not be in the comfort of your home, you may not be in the comfort of your kitchen, but if your goals are as important as you say they are, you will find a way to get done what you need to get done and work around potential obstacles. So I'm taking you guys along with me to Sydney and showing you how I'm navigating my meals over the weekend. I don't even have a kitchen in my hotel. I may potentially have a mini bar. I don't even know, but I don't care. I'm not letting that as an excuse and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and hopefully this inspires you to make it work if you are in a similar situation and to make yourself realize that if you can't make it work then your goals just aren't as important as you say that they are. So hopefully this can also be a little bit of a wake up call for you. Oh my God, my hand, oh, dead. That is all from me. I'm on a little bit of a tight schedule. If I can, I'll film my workout. I don't think I'm gonna have time because I have to get home, get ready, and then race to the airport, but I will keep you guys up to date with my meals and everything the entire weekend. But yeah, just jumping on here to intro. Love you guys, and I'll chat to you soon. guys I thought that I would just quickly show you what I've got right here I do have a whole heap of other stuff that I'm bringing with me but I just thought that I would show you guys this stuff anyway so for a staple when I'm on prep I will always 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 bring a protein powder with me just to make sure that if I don't hit protein for whatever reason by the end of the day I will just have a protein shake and then we have our digestive aid that I'll be bringing with me my digestion hasn't been the greatest this prep so I'm just trying to get on top of that and then we have a detox and bloat and then we have our magnesium and a probiotic so hopefully i can get on top of my bloating and constipation because that has been a massive thing for me this prep which is really weird considering i have never had any sorts of digestion or bloating issues in the past and then we just have some pumpkin seeds nope these are walnuts and then we have pumpkin seeds in here this is also meant to help with your digestion so i'll be bringing this with me and then we have creatine hydrate 
Destiny. I'll also be taking these two, even though I've already done my sessions for the week. Just need to make sure that I'm still taking creatine every single day. And Destiny tastes amazing, so I'll literally just stack these two so I can get in my creatine. Then we have two of these bottles that I'll be getting through every single day to keep up with my hydration. And then lastly, we have my meals for today. So I have prepped my meals for today and then at the end of the day today after lunch with my family will go to Coles and I'll get my foods that I'll be eating for the rest of the weekend. But yeah, as I get through these meals throughout the day, I will be sure to show you guys. But yeah, this is my little sup stack, you could say, that I'll be bringing with me to Sydney. All right, just got to the airport. I have my long black, which I've almost finished. And then I'm just doing some work. And this guy in front of me has a 12 pack of crispy creams, pretty much slapping me in the face. <laughs> I would do anything for a couple of those donuts, but it's okay. So I'm gonna get into my long black and then we're just gonna jump on the plane. All right guys, we have landed. So this is meal one. It's currently 10 o'clock right now. And this is when I usually have meal one. I'm going to try and stick to my same meal times even though I am away from home, just because I want to kind of combat hunger as much as possible. And one of the best ways to do that is to stick to your same eating schedule. So we just have here 150 grams of strawberries. We have Yopro. Um, some pumpkin seeds and then the Muscle Nation casing custard. I've turned it into a paste. You guys have seen me do this a million times before and then just drizzled it over the top. I've been having, like I said, digestion issues. So pumpkin seeds is really good to help get things moving. So hopefully that helps. I will also leave the macros on the top right hand side for you guys. So you guys can see the breakdown of this meal. But now we're just waiting for... I don't know why my focus is crap today, but we're just waiting for the bags and then we're going to head to our accommodation. All right, so now we're going to go into Coles and figure out what the hell I'm going to be eating over the next couple of days. All done, you guys. So I will show you when I get home. All right, so these will, this food pretty much is going to be my food over the next couple of days, so Saturday and Sunday. So this will be my breakfast on both days. I'll just be using the Muscle Nation plant-based protein, chocolate flavor, turning it into a paste. And then I'll be having some kiwi fruits. Kiwi fruits are really good for digestion. I'll be having some Yopro and then some pumpkin seeds on top. And then for my lunch, I just picked up this Asian style mix salad. I have this at home, really good. And then I'm just going to be using this roast chicken breast peri peri flavor for my protein sauce for lunch. And then I'm going to be using tomatoes. And then for my dinner, I will just be having tuna as my protein sauce. Love these. Really good macros as well. You guys can't see, but this is the onion and tomato savory sauce. And then I will also be using this as well to bulk it up. And then with my snacks, I'm just going to be having some protein shakes to get in at my protein for the day. And then I'll just be sipping on this as well to keep me nice and full. So as you guys can see, not a lot of calories are being consumed, which is totally understandable because as you know, I'm on competition prep and I've still got about six kilos to lose. So your girl is digging hard, but I'm not going to let this trip away in Sydney deter me from the plan. So this is what I've got for the next couple of days. So no excuses, girls. If your goals are as important as you say they are, you will make it work. You will go to Coles or Woolworths and get what you need to get to make sure that you are still hitting your macro whilst you are away all right so this is my lunch meal so I just have two boiled eggs I know it looks very <laughs> appetizing and then I have three of these salt and vinegar rice cakes I have been obsessed with these this prep I don't know I think I've just been craving salt and vinegar so these really hit the spot literally having them every single day and yeah just some spinach on the bottom there all right so now we are off to toddies which is one of my favorite favorite Italian restaurants in Sydney and I can't have any of it so that is very annoying but I'll get to see my sister have toddies because you haven't had it before, have you? Never. You'll love it. So I'll show you guys the food when I get there. I will just be watching everyone eat. Very, very envious. And by the way, guys, 
You can see the little red marks there. That is from stamping, from skin needling. I think I've told you guys that I have scarring on my face. So by doing skin needling and doing stamping over the scarring, it helps reduce the scarring, which has helped heaps. I think I have spoken about that on a YouTube video, but yeah, that is why I have those marks. So I just have my coat no sugar. <laughs> so sad. I'll quickly show you guys as well. I was very lucky to have a mini bar. So I've literally just crammed all my food at the top there. All right, so we have my, what is this? This is my third meal of the day. So we just have chicken breast, salad, and zucchini. I'll leave the macros on the top right-hand side for you guys. And this is my last meal of the day. So I'm going to get into this, do a little bit of work, and then head to bed. I will chat to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. I hope you all are having an amazing... I'm literally talking like I'm talking on my Instagram stories. So let's rewind and not do that. But it is Saturday. I am up and at him with my sister. And we are getting in my steps for the day. just want to get a head start in case I am doing a lot of sitting at the wedding, which I assume that I will be. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting in my 12K steps before I get there or at least get as close to as possible. So I'm not stressing about getting in my steps by the end of the day because I, I assume I'm going to be pretty tired. But it is such a beautiful day in Sydney. Very, very, very happy to be here. We're just walking along Barangaroo around to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And yeah, it's honestly just stunning. But we also need to keep an eye out for a cute little coffee shop because I'm dying for a long black. But I will chat to you guys when we do find one. Yum, I'm not sure if you guys can see that well, but look how good this caramel slice looks. So this is Jessie's dessert after breakfast. And then what have you got there? What's that called? A spinach and feather roll. Oh my gosh, it was so good. All right, so I'm just getting my lunch ready that I'll be taking with me to the wedding. So I just have half of this Asian style salad that I showed you guys yesterday, 80 grams of tomatoes. <laughs> and then we have this whole packet that I'll be having for my protein, the roast chicken breast sliced peri peri. Got my scales, getting myself prepared for my lunch today. All right, guys, so this is my breakfast. We have 30 grams of the Muscle Nation plant-based protein chocolate flavor. As you can see, I've turned it into a paste. So delicious. And I'm just going to drizzle this over the top with my two kiwi fruits, so 150 grams of kiwi, 85 grams of the Yo Pro Vanilla Yogurt, and then we have 10 grams of sunflower seeds. Delicious. All right, so terrible lighting in a bit of a rush, but this is what I'm wearing to the wedding. This gorgeous rat and boa dress. I am obsessed all the way to the ground. And yeah, I'll try and get a better visual when I'm outside because the lighting is so dark. But yeah, let's go. All right, so I am back from the wedding. I'm sorry I didn't bring my camera with me and there wasn't too much to film. The food looked delicious, but... Obviously, I couldn't have it, but I'm just back at the room now, and I'm having some protein, 30 grams, again, of the Muscle Nation protein that I brought down with me. I have turned it into a paste. I much prefer to have this protein when it's like this as opposed to just a whole heap of water like a protein shake. I don't know. It just feels like I'm having chocolate. So I'm going to have this, chill out, do some work, and then have my dinner. All right, guys, it's been a couple of hours now. This is my dinner, very simple and basic. We just have onion and tomato savory sauce, John West tuna for my protein. You guys can't see, but there's some tomatoes in there and a mixed salad. So I'm still a little bit low in protein for the day. So I just had another group of protein powder, turned it into a paste. And then I'm just going to finish off with some Metamucil to help with my digestion. That is all for me. I will chat to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. So this is my breakfast. It does not look appealing at all, but it's pretty much exactly what it actually is, exactly what I had yesterday. So just two kiwi fruits, some pumpkin seeds, Yo Pro, and the Muscle Nation casing custard. We are just about to head off to the airport, so I will chat to you guys when I'm there. 
and I was so close to not showing you guys my lunch but exactly what I had yesterday just keeping things nice and simple so we just have a dry slaw tomatoes and chicken hello you guys it is about a week now I realized that I didn't film an outro for my Sydney vlog so I'm jumping on here to outro the vlog for you guys I watched the video back and I'm sorry that it was a little bit all over the place but purely the point of the video was to show you guys that there is absolutely no excuse why you cannot hit your macros whilst you are interstate whilst you may not have access to a kitchen or a microwave or a fridge or anything like that if your goals are as important as you say they are you will find a way to make it work and hit your prescribed targets yes as you could tell by my meals they were very bland they were very boring they were not interesting in the slightest but again like I said, if your goals are as important as you say they are, you will sacrifice that for a couple of days in order to still do what you need to do. And that wasn't forever. I was only in Sydney for two nights. And whilst, yes, my food was quite boring and yes, it was repetitive, it's only for two days like I said and when I got home I got straight back into having a lot more flexibility with the foods that I could use because obviously I have access to a kitchen microwave oven etc etc so I hope you guys were able to draw some inspiration for when you are going on a holiday yourself and you still need to be tracking your macros and I hope that it helped show you guys that it is most definitely achievable to still progress towards your goals whilst you are away and don't have access to things like a kitchen fridge oven etc etc you will not find excuses as to why you didn't get done what you needed to get done so i hope i was your inspiration i hope that this is the push that you guys need to stop making excuses when you are outside of your normal comfort zone or your normal environment and use that as a way for you not to be adherent because like i said everything in life it's not it's even just even outside of health and fitness anything that you want in life if you want it bad enough you will make it work regardless of how difficult the situation may be but that is all from me if you guys do have any other questions with regards to eating out or when you are interstate or on holiday like anything like that any questions please don't hesitate to reach out as i'm more than happy to answer those questions for you guys and yeah i'll see you in my next video